now let us move to the second first problem prove that cot of pi by 4 minus theta equals to cos 2 theta by 1 minus sin 2 theta and hence and hence find the value of cot 15 degrees cot 15 degrees okay in this problem actually first we have to prove cot of 45 degrees minus theta is equal to cos 2 theta by 1 minus sin 2 theta from this one only we have to deduce the value of cot 15 degrees so in this problem it had better to do considering the right hand side that is the right manner or right path we can see so now shall we consider the right hand side okay let us consider right hand side what is the right hand side here so here right hand side is rhs cos 2 theta 1 minus sin 2 theta in the earlier discussions we know the formula for cos 2 theta as well as sin 2 theta let us substitute this cos 2 theta is cos square theta minus sin square theta whereas this one is the identity we can replace one for cos square theta plus sin square theta now minus the sin 2 theta is 2 sin theta and cos theta so now this is in the form of a square minus b square numerator whereas denominator is a square plus b square minus 2 ab using these two algebraic identities first the denominator here numerator can be written as cos theta minus sin theta multiplied by cos theta plus sin theta and whereas this can be written cos theta minus sin theta all square that means cos theta minus sin theta just observe numerator and denominator both have the same factors so that they can be gets cancelled we get now cos theta plus sin theta by cos theta minus sin theta this is nothing but tan of 45 degrees plus theta but what is to be shown that is in terms of cot so how to write in terms of cot using complementary angles so this can be rewritten as cot of pi by 2 minus of pi by 4 plus theta now brackets of this is cot of pi by 2 minus pi by 4 and minus into plus minus theta here 90 degrees minus 45 degrees how much do you get it so 45 45 is nothing but pi by 4 so we have cot of 45 degrees minus theta now rhs is equal to lhs now we have proved but the cot 15 has to be evaluated so here 45 degrees is there and theta is there 45 minus theta just imagine what sort of value has to be 
selected to get 15 degrees as we have the answer. So, if you just replace theta for 30 degrees we get cot 15. So, why not let us substitute theta for 30 degrees we can deduce cot 15 degrees values. So, let us proceed. So, now in this one put theta is equal to 30 degrees therefore, 30 means that is pi by here 6 cut off pi by 4 minus pi by 6 which equals to cos pi by 3 by 1 minus sin pi by 3. So, this is 45 minus 30 is 15 we can write cot 15 no problem in terms of degrees this is cos 60 cos 60 is 1 by 2 1 minus root 3 by 2 this is sin 60. So, 1 by 2 by 2 is the LCM 2 minus root 3 2 2 gets cancelled 1 by 2 minus root 3. So, once again we have to rationalize it. So, let us rationalize 1 by 2 minus root 3. So, now here 1 by 2 minus root 3 multiplied with 2 plus root 3 and divided by 2 plus root 3. So, we get 2 plus root 3 this is in the form of a minus b into a plus b. Again we have a square minus b square here. So, 2 square minus root 3 square. So, 2 plus root 3 by 4 minus 3 is which equals to 1. So, we get 2 plus root 3. So, therefore, cot 15 degrees is equal to 2 plus root 3 even tan 75 degrees also 2 plus root 3. Tan 75 degrees is equal to cot 15 equal to 2 plus root 3. Second problem, if 450 degrees less than theta, theta less than 540 degrees and sin theta is equal to 12 by 13, then calculate, calculate sin of theta by 2 and cos of theta by 2. Sin of theta by 2 and cos of theta by 2. Okay, let us come to this problem. As theta lies in between 450 degrees and 545 degrees, first let us determine the quadrant at which theta by 2 lies. So, divide throughout by theta by 2 so that we can determine the quadrant in which theta by 2 lies. As we know the theta in which theta by 2 lies, we can determine the signs of plus or minus symbols for sin theta by 2 and cos theta by 2. First, let us find out the quadrant, let us trace out the, trace out the quadrant of theta by 2. Here given 450 degrees less than theta less than 540 degrees divide throw out by 2. So, this becomes 225 am I correct less than theta by 2 this is 270 degrees. Now, can you determine where the theta by 2 lie? This implies theta by 2 belongs to the third quadrant Q 3. Now, given here sin theta is equal to 12 by 13. 
here as theta lies between 450 to 540. That means, take the quadrant. So, this is x axis x dash y and y dash this will be 0 degrees ok 90 180 270 360 450 540 again let me repeat once again 0 90 180 270 360 450 540 so, here this theta lies in at here theta belongs to the second quadrant, it is obviously in second quadrant theta lies theta belongs to second quadrant. Since theta belongs to the second quadrant the cos theta value will be negative. So, first let us find out cos theta. So, cos square theta is equal to 1 minus sin square theta. So, now this is 1 minus 144 by 169. This is 169 is the LCM. So, 25 by 169. Let us find out cos theta. Cos theta is equal to root of 25 by 169 this will be plus or minus 5 by 13. Now, here theta lies in second quadrant cos theta must be negative. So, therefore, cos theta is equal to minus 5 by 13. Let us come to sin theta by 2 and cos theta by 2. So, sin theta by 2 is equal to we have the formula root of half into 1 minus cos theta. So, what is the symbol we have to consider? Theta by 2 lies in third quadrant. So, it must be minus. Substituting cos theta value here, we have minus root of half into 1 minus of minus plus 1 plus 5 by 13. So, minus root of half into this will be 18 by 13 to 9 ja. Square root of 9 is 3 minus 3 by root 13. This will be sin theta by 2. Let us come to the cos theta by 2. Cos theta by 2 will be root of half multiplied by 1 plus cos theta, but plus or minus symbol we have to select. As theta by 2 lies in the third quadrant, in third quadrant cos also negative. So, we have to take minus here. So, minus root of half multiplied by 1 cos theta is minus 5 by 13, 1 minus 5 by 13. So, now here we get this is equal to minus root of half into 13 minus 5 is 8 by 13 to 1 jar to 4 jar. Square root of 4 is 2. So, minus 2 square root of 13 is root 13. So, minus 2 by root 13. 